Hi guys, welcome back. It's Paul here again. Glad to have you with me. We're going to have a quick look at a check you can do on your bass. If you're getting some hum on your bass, there's a quick check you can do with a meter. So here's the problem you sometimes get. When you play in your bass, you hear a hum, but it's not there all the time. And occasionally you'll touch the strings and the hum will go away. And then you find if you let, let go of the strings, one hand's off it, both, both hands are off it, you'll hear this hum coming through your amp. And that could mean that the strings aren't grounded or the screen is not going through the bridge the way it's supposed to. So let's have a look how we can check that. So let's talk about what should be happening. Under the bridge you should have a wire, a bare wire, something like this. Let's strip back a long way. Let's just do this. So you've got bare wire and it's under there. So this would come off and under there it might be cold around a bit, something like that. And it's making contact with the bridge. And then the wire is fed through the body and it's connected to various points. You may see it on the back of a pot. It may go to a, a common place where a lot of the grounds go. But it connects to everything that's grounded or screened. So a simple way of checking this is to get a multimeter and there's various types and you get some very cheap ones. This was a cheap one. It was only a few pounds, probably under 10 pounds. Very, very cheap. What you want to look out for is whether it's got a continuity check and that's this little symbol here. And it looks, it's a diode symbol and this one, when there's continuity, makes a noise. Others will just give you a reading and the reading will go to zero or fairly near zero if it's not exactly zero when there's continuity. So what's continuity? Continuity means is the electricity can get from one end of the wire to another end of the wire and there's no breaks in the middle. So if we check this piece of wire, we put one of our probes on one end of the wire, the other probe on the other end of the wire, and if we hear the bleep, or if the meter goes down to zero, that means it's a continual wire. It has continuity, there's no breaks in it. What that means on our base is that all our strings should be in contact with each other. So if I check between one string and another string, I should get continuity. So that means it's all connected. So through the bridge, obviously the bridge is metal, it's connecting to all the strings. So the other thing we now need to check is whether the bridge has actually got that wire underneath connected to all the other screened bits of the base. So put one terminal, one probe on here, on the string or the bridge, and I'm going to touch the edge of the jack socket. And as you can see in here, that is connected. You'll probably find you should be able to get a connection from anything else. There's a switch there. If you had metal uh, knobs on top of your pots, you should get a connection there, but I haven't. So I might try that on another base, and then you can see that. So let's try it with this one. I've 
got continuity to the bridge and let's do the bridge to the jack socket we got that and then we'll try it there we are, to one of the knobs if you ever wondered why you sometimes get a little spring supplied with knob um, that's to help with the continuity from the knob to the edge where the screw is the nut for the pot and it helps with the continuity on there so the point of all that was that you can quickly work out whether you have actually got a fault that you need to sort out so if you haven't got continuity then there is some sort of problem and at that point then you're going to start taking the base apart and see if there is actually a wire under there or whether it's connected right through I hope it's been useful to you. Please like, share, subscribe and all the rest of it. Um, thank you very much. See you in the next one.